In the last session, we looked into this particular paper and we said that, okay, let's see how we can use this particular model. Maybe add a few variables in this particular model and develop our own model. Now, this is a very basic way to add originality to your research. This is something that is what I normally refer to as explicit gaps that are already there. What you need to do is just maybe remove some of these variables and add in new one. Let's say, how can I enhance this particular model that is there already there and I need to add a few variables. So what I'll do is I'll come to the last section that is limitations and future research directions and you will find it here. Limitations and future research directions. Here it is. Now let me increase the size here just to have a look. Despite these contributions and implications, the present study entails several limitations that can serve as ideas for future research. First, this study focused on general HRM practices and to provide insights regarding PEP and obtained interesting findings. However, future studies might focus on specific green management approach such as employee hiring criteria, green training, green leadership. Now, the focus of this study was more or less on general HR practices. Now, they are recommending some more HR practices. Let's look at the model first and then we are going to come back here. So let's remove this first now. So I'm going to copy this model here just for the sake of better understanding. So the three recommended variables are hiring criteria, green training, green leadership. So it's hiring criteria. green training and green leadership. Now this needs to be removed. Obviously they have recommended to have specific HR practices. So these are the specific HR practices that one can take into account. So step one, now you have added new independent variables. Now let's look at the other ones. Now, second, the present research can be extended using other personal and organizational factors to explain the mediating process now, such as green mindset and green empowerment. So here, let's say we can have remove this and we can have green mindset and green empowerment. Let's move on. It is also suggested that future studies be conducted to test additional moderating alternatives. Now, what are the moderating alternatives? It could be intrinsic rewards, supervisors, personality traits, and it was a quantitative research, research so you can have qualitative methods as well. May have a mixed method research. For now, I'm not interested in it. Contribution primarily relies or is focused on adding new relationships, new variables in your model, new methodologies in your model. Contribution is not focused on taking it from one culture to another culture. Yes, mixed method research can be a significant contribution. We are going to talk about a strong, weak contribution later as we go along the course. Finally, the study is one of the first. Okay, so they are recommending other cultures as well. So primarily my interest was in adding new variables so which I have found. So if I come back here and if I look at it, this is what I'm getting. So my independent variable and let's say the moderating, there were other moderating recommended as well. So let's have a look. Intrinsic rewards and personality traits. So moderator, let me put a note here, moderating intrinsic rewards and personality traits. So let's, I've got all variables here. Let's me, let me make up my model. So hiring criteria, green training,
green leadership and these HR practices will influence these two variables here so these are my mediators and they will influence these two variables here and we can have these two moderators here influencing these relationships here so we can have intrinsic rewards here we can have personality traits here and they can influence these as well here and you can remove this just remove this so what about servant leadership where is servant leadership i wanted to work on servant leadership so what we can do is instead of having two types of different two different types of leadership because there is a concept of sustainable servant leadership as well and which can overlap this concept here what i can do is i can have my servant leadership here as another moderator in these relationships here servant leadership and these two as my other hr practices that can i can take into account so now look at this based on one single paper i have proposed a whole and new model but the problem is the problem that i might face is that somebody somewhere in the world might have read the same paper and if they have read the same paper they might come with let's say almost the same model maybe the similarity index for between the two models is 90 percent and what if he collects or she collects the data quickly or quicker than me then they are in a better position to publish instead of me what's the solution for this problem the solution will be discussed in the next session thank you very much